At Penn State York, students turn computer trash into treasure for growing numbers of York residents. We take computers that are donated by companies that don't need the systems anymore. We refurbish them and then turn around and give them out to nonprofit organizations that are out in the community that need the systems that otherwise would have nothing. The donations have saved us a great deal of money and given us the tools that we couldn't just we couldn't do it without. We could not have this sort of lab without all those donations. The students call themselves scrounge and literally scrounge for computer leftovers from companies like Harley Davidson to make life better for people in the York area. Cut that thing out before it like, paste it and puts it back in. It's just kind of all blossomed uh, because of what the people wanted to do and then seeing the opportunities there to allow them to do it. Well, the neatest thing for me has been that I, I can do some of the things that I never, ever thought I'd be able to do. Welcome to your county mindset or website for So far, Ground has made over 350 computers and related parts available to individuals who otherwise couldn't afford them. And just letting people know, letting industry know and letting businesses in the area know that uh, blind persons can now be competitive uh, when it comes to using computers. <laughs> So this was just the perfect vehicle to bring uh, the parents again and the child together through the use of computers. Quinn more or less teaches me. I try to help him sometimes, but he says, no, 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 I can do it. I just sit back and watch until he asks for my help. As word of Brown spreads, companies and nonprofits alike are calling Penn State York to be part of a growing technology community.